Good morning everyone. We have a um, little bit uh, worked uh, this week uh, on configurations for OpenMS to support uh, other devices from different vendors. And um, I think um, during contribution we got last year, we saw a few problems, um, especially um, with devices who don't have really a nice system object ID identifier to let um, yeah, um, OpenMS identify devices and uh, um, specific configurations for it. So it was really hard to merge um, contributed uh, configs into the default OpenMS source code. And um, for example, um, yeah, one of them is, for example, if you have a data collection, just to give a, a simple one, um, for example, here, if you have a system object ID, which is basically an extension of uh, NetSNP Linux box, if uh, we add this uh, configuration to an OpenMS default setup, then it will be automatically applied to any Linux system you have in monitoring it. That is probably not what you want. But um, we would like to have this contribution for configs because we want to make people able to uh, share their configs and all that stuff. So what we basically did, instead of dragging them in into the OpenMS um, uh, repository, we created basically um, an organization called OpenMS Config Modules. And um, we j basically just uh, made a simple folder structure, just similar like you, you see uh, in OpenMS, like a data collection folder, events folder, and the graphs folder. And just give uh, readme how to install that stuff. What, what does it basically what is the configuration capable of and how to install it. Basically download the, the files, drop it in the folders and just include the uh, configs if you need them. Um, so that way um, people can fork that repository, can extend it or do whatever they want with. Um, and um, basically this week uh, Marcel did a um, few new modules for um, um, the deductum uh, monitoring system which is a, a temperature sensor for data centers, uh, humidity and all that stuff. Um, they do a lot of um, cool things uh, with physical monitoring and he also added for LANCOM devices which kind of, I, th I think it's a German manufacturer for routers, um, small home offices or medium sized routers to do women's makeup too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so um so we have added them as well. And additionally uh, Dustin had a pretty nice idea to come up with an a way to how can we collect all that stuff. So um basically in the OpenMS configuration modules you have uh, every su supported device has a directory and he created a, a meta repository and basically it collects all the uh, repositories uh, with um, as git sub modules uh, and that way we have a reference to a version number and uh, can basically use them in any way if we want to re re reuse them in a in a application to search through stuff or you want to make them publicly available then we can just go through um, this repository and then we can search and find stuff and if you have someone who wants to contribute uh, to um, or wants to make an official um, repository he wants to share with he makes basically a pull request against this repository and just <coughs> adds the submodule with the version number he wants to share with others so that's basically uh, could be an idea to, to to solve that problem with sharing configs between others um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you for letting me share.